morning year three and year four. Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> it's the last day of our English challenge today. But first of all, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who's been sending in their work this week. It is amazing. I'm so pleased with everything that you've done. And the newspaper reports that came in this, um, yesterday and this morning have been brilliant. So you've got a little couple of boxes left to complete. So first thing we need to do is interview a witness. So let's go. I have an exclusive interview with Mrs. Harrison, who was on the train that morning. Thank you for talking to us, Miss Harrison. So what happened? Well, it was a normal morning when all of a sudden we heard a loud bang. Everyone on the train thought there was an explosion. When we went to look out the window, we saw two bandits flying off the roof. Wow, how scary. Thank you again for talking to us, Miss Harrison. You're welcome. Wow, weren't we lucky to find a witness to interview? That's amazing. So we've now got what the witness said. Now, we don't need the, well, it started off as a normal morning. This is the main part of what our witness said. All of a sudden, there was a loud bang. Everyone on the train thought it was an explosion. We looked out of the window and saw two bandits flying off. So our job now is to use that speech to turn it into a quote that's going to go at the bottom of our newspaper report. So I'm going to show you how to do that. OK, so here's our newspaper report that we started yesterday. You started it with Miss Tarrant and this was her side. And we've kept this side free so we can put our quote from our witness up here and then we can draw a picture and write a caption underneath so that everybody can see um, the Gaskin brothers. So when you start to write about um, somebody's quote, in a newspaper they tend to make it sound really exciting. So they tend to say, oh, in an exclusive interview or an onlooker reported that. So I'm going to use in an exclusive interview. That means she only spoke to us. So I'm going to start with my capital letter. So in an exclusive interview, comma. Oh, what was her name? Mrs. Harrison. Mrs. Capital letter for her name. Mrs. Harrison. Oh, where was she? She was on the train that morning. So who was on the train that morning the train that morning told us now what did she tell us okay so when i look back at my speech bubble you might need to go back to that page now i'm not going to write draw a speech bubble but i know i need my speech marks my inverted commas to start the speech and it started with all of a sudden so I've got my 66 then capital letter all of a sudden comma what did she say oh there was a loud bang was a loud bang full stop because she's still talking she just took a breath and in her next sentence she said everyone on the train thought it was an explosion so it's still part of the same speech, so I don't need new speech marks, just need a capital letter. Everyone on the train thought it was an explosion. And she's got an exclamation mark. She said it quite excitedly. Um, then what did she say? Oh, we looked out of the window. So we looked out of the window. And she said she saw, so and saw two bandits flying off the roof. Now we know it means the roof of the train, that's all she said, so we can't add any more because that was what she said. So I'm going to put an exclamation mark, that's the end of what Mrs Harrison said, so I can finish with my inverted commas, my 99. And that is my quote. Now I may just finish with a little warning or a plea for information, so I might just say, if you see them, 
or if you see the men, do not approach them. And that's going to be my last sentence. So if you see the men, comma, do not approach them. And that is the end of the writing for our newspaper report. So the next job for me is I'm going to draw a line, I'm going to draw a picture, and then I'm going to put in a caption at the end to ex explain my picture. So I'll come back to that in a moment. So here's my finished newspaper report. I've added a picture of the bandits and I've written a caption just to explain what the picture is about. So the infamous Gaskin brothers in train robbery. And that's it. The newspaper report is finished. So well done year three and year four. You have finished another amazing week of literacy. Please don't forget to send in your newspaper reports to year three or year four so that we can see them and put them on our blogs. But have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it and we'll see you next week.